the question on earth geometry. So question number 11 has those two parts, part A and part B. So part A is saying, uh, towns A and B are on latitude, so with 5 degrees west and with 5 degrees east respectively. Okay, so we have got two towns, town A, uh, we have town A, so this is question A, town A and town A, town B. Now they are saying uh, town A is only longitude 75 degrees west. Then town B is only longitude 45 degrees east. So this one is only 45 degrees east. So we have these two towns, okay? Then they are saying, find the time difference between these two towns. So they want us to find the time difference uh, between town A and town B, okay? So for us to find time difference, remember, remember what I said? Uh, time, time uh, difference, okay, this is what we want. Time difference is equal to uh, theta over 15 degrees, okay? So theta, this is uh, the difference in longitude, okay? Theta is the difference in what? In longitude. Now, where does this duty come from? We know that uh, one hour, one hour is equal to what? Uh, 15 uh, degrees, okay? Then uh, 24, hours is equal to 360 degrees, okay? Yes. So now, time difference is equal to theta over 15. So the time difference in this case is uh, the difference in longitude uh, between point A and point B, down A and down B. So the difference in their longitude, that's the what? That's the theta. So you say it's equal to, so now, since the two points or the two towns Town A and Town B, these are on different hemispheres, okay? Town A, it is on the western part, then Town B, it is on the eastern part, okay? So since the two are on different hemispheres, we're supposed to add the two longitudes. So you say 75 plus 45, okay? Divided by 15, okay? So 75 plus... Uh, 45, you get what? You get 1, 120, divided by 15, okay? So 15 to 1, we're not to get. So we can say, uh, say 3 into 15, you get what? You get 5. Then uh, 3 into 12, you get what? You get 4. Then 3 into uh, 0, you get what? 0. So in short, uh, 3 into 120, it's 40. Uh, then uh, 3 into 15 is 45. Then uh, 5 into 4 to get what? 8. So 8 hours, this is the time difference. So the time difference is what? 8 hours. Okay? The time difference between point A and point B or town A and point town what? B is what? 8 hours. Now let us look at question A. Question B. Question B is saying the diagram shows Town B, which is only latitude 45 degrees south, longitude 75 degrees west. Okay, so town B is only latitude town B. The latitude for town B is 45 degrees south. Then the longitude is what? 75 degrees west. So the latitude is 45 degrees south. Then the longitude is what? 75 degrees what? west. And then town Q, it's only latitude uh, 0 degrees, which is the equator. And then the longitude is 75 degrees uh, west. So meaning town P and town Q, they are on the same uh, longitude. Town P and town Q, they are on the same longitude, which is 75 degrees west. So these are on the same what, longitude, but different what, uh, latitudes. Okay, because town P, it's only latitude. 45 degrees south, then in town Q it's on latitude what? Uh, zero degrees. Okay. Now the question is saying uh, an aeroplane, uh, an aeroplane uh, takes four and a half hours to fly from town B to town Q. 
find its average weight, speed. So an aeroplane for it to move to fly from point P to point D, Q, it takes two hours, two, sorry, four hours, four hours, one over two, okay? So you can say four and a half white hours, four and a half white hours, okay? That's a time it takes for it to move from point D, point P to point D, point uh, Q. Then we are told to say, find its average word speed, okay? In notes. They want us to find its average speed in what D notes, okay? So now in this case, for us to find speed, first and foremost, we're going to say, this is to say B. So we say B, we say, uh, average speed, average uh, speed is equal to what? Distance, distance over the time, the time taking. Okay, distance over time taking. Now in our case, we have the time. Time has been given to be what? Four and a half hours. Four and a half hours, that's the what? Time, now we don't have the distance. So what we're going to do first is, we need to find the distance, okay? Between the two points. Distance, what? P, Q. The distance in between P and Q. Okay, then substitute where there is distance. Time we have. Okay? So what we're going to do is let's find uh, the distance. Okay? So find the distance we're going to say. Let's just go direct. So it's equals. How to find the distance? Distance between P and D, Q. Okay? Now you realize uh, P and Q, they are on a longitude. Okay? And we know how to find distance along the circle of what? Longitude. In what? In Newton Mouse. Now, why are we talking about Newton Mouse? Since the speed. The speed is in what? Notes. The distance. The distance should be in what? Nutical. Nutical mounts. Okay? If you have been given the speed in notes, the distance should be in what? Nutical what? Mounts. So we're going to find the distance between what? P and Q in what? Nutical mounts. So distance. Distance is given by 60 multiplied by what? By the theta. Okay, then divided by what's the time? Time has been given to be what? The time is uh, 4 as a whole number, then 1 over 2 as a proper fraction. Okay, let me just go direct and say this is our time. 4 as a whole number, then 1 over 2 as a proper fraction. Okay, then we can move on and say uh, 60 multiplied by the theta. Now, since uh, P and Q, they are on the same longitude. P and Q, they are on the same longitude. They only differ in terms of the latitude. P, it is on what? 45 degrees. And then Q is on what? Uh, zero degrees. So finding the difference in what? In latitude. Whether you add 45 plus uh, zero, you obtain 45. Or when you say 45 degrees plus zero degrees, you obtain what? 45. Or if you say 45 minus 0 degrees, you also obtain what? 45. So the difference in latitude are between P and Q is what? 45. So we are going to say where theta is, okay, you say 60 multiplied by the theta is what? The difference in what? Latitude. So just multiply 45 by what? 45 by, uh, sorry, 45 by 60. Okay, this is 45. Okay, okay, this is 45. That is the difference in what? In latitude. Uh, between P and Q. Why are we saying difference in latitude? Because P and Q, they are all the same longitude. Okay? What they have by terms of the difference is what? The longitude. So the latitude side. Okay? Q is on 0 degrees. Then P is on what? 45 degrees south. So the difference in uh, latitude between the two points is what? 40, 45. Are we together? So now, this is the 45 I'm talking about, okay? Then in this case, time. Now this time it is, uh, it has been given in form of an, a mixed fraction. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this mixed fraction into a and proper fraction. So how do you convert this one? So four as the whole number, one over two as a proper fraction. You just multiply, you see, four times, two times four is eight. Eight plus one gets nine. Nine over what? over 2. So we are going to get this. Okay? This is what we are going to get. So I'm saying, this you convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. How do you do that? 2 times 4 get 8. 8 plus 
1 get 9, so we have 9 over 2 as a proper fraction. Okay, so now you can say it's equal to, you can now multiply 60 multiplied by 45, what do you get? 60 times 45, let's multiply this one. Okay, uh, 60 times 40, 45. Okay, 5 times 0, get what? 0, 5 times uh, 6, you get 30 of 300. Then 4 times 0, you get 0. Then 4 times, uh, times 6, you get 20, 24. Then you add this. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. Then uh, 4 plus 3, you get 7. 2 plus 0, you get what? 2. So we have uh, 2,700. That's what distance. Okay? So 60 times 45, you're getting 2,700. It is a unit of notes. Over. Over what? Over what? Over what? Over what? Over 2. Sorry, 9 over what? Over 2. Okay. Now, this one, this one can also be written as, let me just write from this side, uh, 2,700 divided by 9 over what? Over 2. Okay? Then just say over, over 1. So when you're dividing fractions, in this case, you maintain this fraction on our left. You maintain 2,700 over 1. Then the division sign changes to what multiplication sign. So we are going to have multiplication sign. Then this uh, numerator becomes the denominator and vice versa. So meaning this denominator which is 2 is going to become a numerator. So we are going to have 2 over 9. Okay? So this is what we are going to have. Okay? So we are going to say speed. Uh, speed is equal to, you maintain this one, uh, 2700 over 1 multiplied by what are you multiplying by? I'm multiplying by 2 over what? 9. Let me say it's equal to, we know our 9 is a factor of 27, so we say 9 into 9, 1. 9 into 27, you get what? You get 3. So this is 300. Of 300, 300 multiplied by what? By 2. Okay? So 300 multiplied by 2, get what? You get 600. 600 what? Uh, notes. 600 notes, this is our average speed. So 600 notes, this is our average speed.